If you're wondering why the background, you might remember the uh, the song, the Teddy Bear's Picnic, if you go into the woods today. And I want to show you my teddy. I've just made one. Maybe the last one I ever make. Make it as a commission for a client of mine in the, in the US. I made quite a few of them. I uh, Originally, the idea came into my head in the 80s. Uh, I used to be a member of the British Toy Makers Guild and we had a... Uh, an exhibition each year in Kensington at the same time as the toy fair so a lot of buyers used to come and the lady next to me made little teddy bears uh, out of they seemed to be made out of terracotta uh, but they were tremendously popular and I always remembered that so four or five years ago I, when I was wondering what to make next I thought ah a teddy so I scratched about on the iPad and came up uh, with an idea which developed into this. Uh, a particular note is that it is an open frame. It also, it has three cam followers, but only two cams, because this front one has two cam followers working on one cam wheel, but the cam wheel has an internal surface and an external one. So you get two actions for the price of one, really. It's the one thing about open frames, they look nice and you can see all the parts, but it's very difficult to stack a lot of uh, cams together. This one uh, has rollers, each roller, they actually can come off quite easily, is like I make them out of Delrin on the uh, lathe. And uh, they're like little railway wheels, so they sit there and press against the cam so they can't come on in off in actual use but you just have to be careful they don't drop off occasionally when it's not in use if you just pick it up. The other distinction that this teddy has, it's the only one I've ever sold into, uh, into China. So uh, somewhere in China there's a teddy sitting there occasionally being played with perhaps. So I'll uh, just show you it running properly. <laughs> 